Hi everyone! So, the other day I was having a look at some places and I found something that I'd never seen before and at first I wasn't sure if it was an official product or if it was a very very well made um, bootleg. Anyway, after doing a bit of research I found out it was the real deal and I managed to pick one up and I'm very impressed with it. So what am I talking about? Ooh! Brand new Dr. Robotnik plushie! Well, this is pretty amazing. Um, it's a brand new Dr. Robotnik classic plush. It's literally been out for a couple of weeks at the most. Um, in fact, I don't really know if, even if it's that. This plush is very well put together. There's a lot of padding in it. So much so that this arm won't stay down, just continues to point. It will point at the works of Shakespeare. I guess that's because Robotnik is a secret Shakespeare fan. Anyway, um, as you can see, uh, yeah, he's le he's got some legs, they have padding in them, but there's no way he can stand up. He can, however, sit very well. Now, he, like I say, he's very well detailed, he's got his uh, little button things there. He does have a cape. And check this out for detail. This I was very impressed with. Not only does he have a, a smile and teeth, he's that is stitching. His glasses are all stitched and he actually has a frame. Even the old um, Japanese 1991 plushes don't have that. They just have little stick-on patch thingies. Now, the moustache is one of the most elaborate moustaches I've ever seen on anything Robotnik themed. It oddly works. It, it's strange. it is strangely appropriate. I think it is a bit too big, but I don't care. I, I just think that it looks fantastic. Now, this is the tag on it. As you can see, it's a... Well, this is the kind of tag design that they're putting on a lot of Sonic stuff that's coming out lately. If you look at the back, you can see it's made by PMS International. And PMS International have been making Sonic plushies for a while now, but usually it's only for um, UFO catching machines or as prize giveaways. And as you can see there, it's for amusement only, not for sale at retail. Now, um, these have been spotted in various claw machines in a seaside town called Scarborough which is, it's, um, it's a nice place, I don't live too far away from it, but I don't know, it's all, it always comes off as being very, very aggressive every time I go there. So, anyway, yeah, they're in Scarborough if you want to try your look at the claw machines, but beware, seaside town claw machines are notoriously difficult to win anything from. But, I digress. Um, little tag here, says Sonic the Hedgehog, PMS at Sega. There is. There are also several other plushies that this company has made, and they're all brand new. There's a classic Amy, a classic Tails, classic Sonic, and a classic Knuckles. The Sonic and the Knuckles plushies are very, very good. They're very, very well made. The Amy one, not so much, and the Tails doesn't look that great. But this is the one I wanted for obvious reasons. This is an amazing plush. Very happy with it. It's probably one of the best plushies that we've had in recent years. So yeah, keep your eyes out. Oh, I actually just noticed here he's actually got a, a little button there and where his jacket. Wow. Oh, and he has fingers too. So yeah, I'm actually discovering new things as I examine it. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this. This is a really good plush. Um, I know it's not the video that I said I'd do. Um, if you were paying attention to my last one, but I can tell you for certain the next video I intend to upload is going to be a tour of Summer of Sonic 2011 Because yes, I am going there and I do intend to do another tour film of the venue And yes, I will be on stage again this year doing Nevermind the Buzz Bombers. Hurrah! Promotion! Okay, so I will leave Classic Robotnik there to continue to point at the works of Shakespeare uh, thank you for watching guys, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and maybe I'll see you at Summer of Sonic. Goodbye.